What is up, tubers? Tio here, Simplistic Fishing, back at you again tonight for a lake breakdown. That's right, we're still on Lyndon B. Johnson. This will be our third video now on the Googler side. We've got the offshore hotspots coming here pretty soon, so stay tuned. Tonight, though, we're going to stay on the Google Earth hotspots. We're going to start on that far north side and continue working our way back down towards the dam. It's going to be a good one. Let's go. Let's go ahead and jump into Lake LBJ or Lyndon B. Johnson, whatever you want to call it. If you missed the first two videos, we've got this broken down on the left-hand side by a couple different categories. So you've got channels and ditches. Let me go ahead and zoom in here so you can see it. And what I'll do is I'll uncheck these other things just so you can see these real quick. And again, if you missed the videos, just go back to the Lake Breakdown playlist on the channel and you will be able to see all the Lake Breakdowns we've done. We've not only done the Lake Breakdowns for LBJ, but we've got probably 50, 60 other lakes you can check out. Or you can even go to our website, simplisticfishing.com. We have 88 lakes now that we've completed. Uh, don't have all the videos for all of them yet, but 88 lakes that you can actually purchase the waypoints for, have them for your graph, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and talk about what this includes. This is going to be all your different creek channels. So that's where this green line is. Really helps you when you're trying to position the boat. There weren't a ton of creek channels on this lake, but um, you know, at least some for us to be able to mark. We've also got a lot of different debris, whether that be uh, brush, concrete, stuff like that. You'll see as we go through the, uh, through the breakdown here, we've also got lots of laydowns on this lake uh, that we can focus on. Offshore hotspots, that's going to come at a later, later time. After we get done with the Google Earth hotspots, what I'll do is I'll create a video that takes us into Navionics mobile app and shows you all the different offshore hotspots that this lake has to offer. We've also got a couple other things here. It just says other. Uh, let's see what all it includes. Just a bunch of different areas to check, piles, discharge, stuff like that. Just things to take a look at. We've also got a couple different areas where there's some pipes. If you've ever done a lake breakdown with me before, you know that I like to point out those pipes because I've had a lot of success fishing around those things. So definitely if I find them, I try to go fish around them. We've also got a bunch of ramps on this lake. This lake has a ton of them. So if you're on the boat ramp pattern, you definitely have plenty of ramps to fish on. And then last but not least, rock. Now, I know you're going to say on LBJ, there's tons of rock. Well, yes, there's tons of rock, but there's specific areas, rock formations, rock points, uh, rock jetties, all kinds of different things to take a look at. And I'll point them out to you as we go through the breakdown. All right, so let's go ahead and select everything. We'll take the offshore stuff off because we're not going to talk about that today. And when we started on the breakdowns, we actually started down here by the dam. And we worked our way up this way, all the way up here. And we got all the way up to this road that was up here, 2900, and that is where we stopped at. So all the other videos, if you missed them, they covered that whole side. So what we're going to do is we're going to swing down this road now. We're going to come back down the southern side and see what we can find. So first thing that we're going to do when we get in here is we're going to try to basically see what date gives us the best image. So 2022, at least in this image, looks pretty good. I think we're going to have to go back to 2015. Uh, to really be able to get some decent stuff for us to take a look at. Let me go in here right now. Oh, what in the world happened? And let me zoom in here. We're going to use this image. This is actually 2017. Let's see if 2015 gives us any better. It doesn't. So 2017 is definitely going to be the route that we want to go. So let's go ahead and start here. And let's start pointing out what we have. So first thing we have here, obviously, is this debris. That you can see right here. And when the water's up, that debris is actually totally submerged. So that could be a nice little place right there. You've also got a nice little pile of brush or something that's going on right here just along this bank line. And then a really big lay down. There's another one right there too. And these things kind of have root systems. Those root systems are really good to fish around too with jigs and things like that. You've also got some more lay downs here, some more debris. Don't know what these things are. It looks like an old boat or something. Just some random stuff along that bank line. And then as we come over here, we come around uh, the river channel swing on this side. Um, just a couple things here. We've got a couple laydowns that are there, some more laydowns that are along here along the bank. So that's definitely going to be, you know, if you're shallow water fishing, some more laydowns in here. This pocket looks 
decent. I didn't see any creep channels in it or anything like that. This little point looked interesting because it has a nice flat top on it. So you might want to try that point with a pretty good lay down there. But off the edge of the point, if I zoom in here, you're going to notice there's a big old brush pile right there. So definitely look at that. And then also here, we've got some rock right out here off that point. So let me zoom back to kind of show you. So we started there at the road. We came up, went around that point. It's going to be right in this area right in here. That's where that rock is. That spot, um, actually this spot right here, looks really good. And then here you kind of got a little bit, not really, I don't know if this is a bluff wall or what it is, but you definitely have some rock that's right there that you could fish around. All right, so then as we move further down, I really like this spot right here. Notice all this rock that's right here, these, these three areas. But notice how this little jetty comes out. What's really good when you can find places like this that are on the edge of the river, they like to set there because food will just come down to them and they can just ambush them. So these three points right here could be really good areas to fish around. So you definitely want to take a look at that. A little bit of a bluff wall here as well, I think. Maybe not bluff wall, but definitely rocky uh, all the way through here. And then notice right there where I put that point right there where it says transition. Notice how this is sand. There's nothing here. And then boom, all of a sudden you go to rock. There should be a transition area right in here that goes pretty far out. And a lot of times they'll hang right on those transition areas. So look right in here, scan around in that area. May have some success there. All right, so we're going to keep coming down the, the river here, come to our next pocket. Inside the next pocket, didn't really see much. Obviously, these points, um, if they had some cover on and stuff, they'd be great points because they're right off the, the river channel. But if you there's really nothing in there, just a bunch of dirt. But if you get a little bit further back in here, you will notice there is a little rock pile back here. So you could definitely go check that out. Then we're going to move down. We've got some more laydowns here and here. And then we've got some rock that's down here too. Another one of those just isolated rocks. And you're starting to see a little transition here. Again, you got the dirt here. And it's kind of covering over into the rocky side. Again, another one of those little points. Love those little rocky points. So basically, if I was going to fish this, I'd hit that rock, and then I'd probably fish this whole bank. And then definitely spend a lot of time focusing it right in here as well. Because notice, you've got that transition right there, right there. And then you've also got that tra same transition right down here as well. So this is going to be a decent little bank line right there, uh, especially with that rock being in that area. Then as we move back here, we get over here to David Wells, Cove, we got a couple different areas where we got some rock back in here. So uh, not too much on the points there, you know, nothing too crazy there, but there is some rock right here. And then if we move up here, we've got these little isolated piles. There's one there, there's one here, there's a little more here off this point. There's some right there, there's a little bit up there as well. Just little isolated spots. Look at this spot right here, this rock right outside of a creek channel. Boom. Those are going to be good for sure. Uh, even in fact that, you know, it's even on a swing right there. If that's a creek, I don't know if it's a creek or not, but looks like it may be somewhat of a creek, but I would definitely fish those two spots right there where it's rock. You got some more rock up in here. And then you've got this little creek channel that comes out this way and swings this way. You've got some rock on the side of it. And then right here, you've got some debris and some more rock as well. So right in here and that little rocky area right in here, those two for sure. Taking a look at those. If I was out here fishing, and definitely these little isolated rock piles. Those can be really good as well. All right, so let's swing out of there and let's come on down. Keep coming down the river and just again, a couple more laydowns just to point out to you, nothing too special. Swing around here though in Errant, I guess that's how you say it, Errant Creek. Come in here, you've got a couple things to take a look at in here. Now, if we get up in here, there's some rock right along this shoreline. You can see it right here. There's a little bit there and a little bit right there. You've got a lay down that's up there and then back here you've got a little bitty like creek channel that comes through here and right where it starts you can start seeing a little bit of rock where all the washout is those can be really good come late you know late fall uh spring you know when you're really back in those pockets all right so let's swing out of there let's zoom back kind of show you guys where i'm at so we've, we made it from the top up there now we're going to come down here we're just basically getting down this long chute right here and really all it is is just a bunch of Random laydowns that I marked for you guys. You can see them here as we go down. Just a couple random laydowns. Nothing too crazy down this bank line. Not even sure if I would spend too much time messing around with that stuff. Uh, then we get down here, we do have a boat ramp. So you can take a look at that boat ramp. And then coming off this point, up here by the seawall that they have out here, you've got some rock that's up in here. 
So that could be interesting. Doesn't look that big a rock, but it's definitely some rock that you could take a look at. And then as you come over here and you get over here off this little flat point that comes out, you've got a little bit of scattered rock that's out here as well. Now that spot right in there, I can see that being a better spot um, for sure. You've also got some more rock right there. I didn't see it, but it's right along that seawall. Some more back in there, but the water's going to have to, you know, come up quite a bit for that to be to be good. But I like this one. I really do. Let's take a look at that one when we move it up, move the water up so you don't notice that that's there. Um, so that's definitely going to be a good little spot to do, you know, wobble heads, crankbaits, all that good stuff, shaky heads, just a really good area, really isolated area that I don't probably doesn't get that much pressure because most people don't even know that it's there. All right, so let's keep moving down. We've got another ramp that's in there. As we get a little bit further in here, just some things I want you to take a look at. Um, we get up here behind this little dock right here. I don't know if this is a big log or if it's a big rock or what it is, but that could be interesting to fish around that. We've also got some more rock around these sea walls. And then a ramp here. And then outside that ramp, there's one of those pipes. So let me zoom in and I'll show you. You can see that giant pipe. And hopefully that pipe goes all the way out. Oops pipe goes all the way out here. I don't know how far it goes out. It may end there, but when that pipe is submerged, fish will relate to those things. So definitely take a look at that and look at this little boat ramp that's here. It's nice. You can see all the, the washout from the boat ramp makes it look like it's going to be a pretty good one to fish around. I've also got some more ramps here, just marking those for you. Come up here in this little pocket, show you guys where I'm at. I'm coming around this bend now. We're going to go into this big pocket right in here. And as we zoom in here, a couple things to look at. I just wanted you to check this out. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's a giant rock or a brush pile just outside that dock, but something's there. So take a look at that one. This dock looks like it may have some brush underneath. I didn't notice that the first time. It kind of looks like some brush right there. A little slab that's out there. Big old flat right there off the top of that point. Come back in here. Not too much going on. Um, just some laydowns that are back in here, but I, don't, I seriously doubt you're going to travel all the way back here just to fish that lay down. But if you happen to be back there, uh, I definitely have a mark for you. We've also got some more stuff over here by these docks. There's a pretty good little brush pile here. You can see also you got a boat ramp over here. Back in here, just got some some random stuff, got some rock right around this point. So square bills, things like that, when they're up shallow, that could be a really good spot to take a look at. Another lay down that's back in there, and I don't think there's much more back in this little pocket. Yeah. Just that, and then another ramp that's right there as well. So I was kind of disappointed. I saw that big pocket and thought there'd be a lot of good stuff for me to mark, but there really wasn't too much for me to uh, to find in there. But if we swing around and we come in here, there is some rock that's back in here that I really liked. And you can see it right here. There's quite a bit, um, but especially right in here. I could see this being a good little, little pocket to fish around, so definitely go check that one out. Then we're going to come back in, get around these two docks. There's a big old rock right here as well. And it looks like a little ditch or something right there outside of it, but I would definitely look at that one. That one, that one definitely has piqued my interest. I've also got some more rock right there around the point. Um, that's right off that really sharp point there. And then as we get back out here towards Main Lake, um, this point right before we get out there has some rock all along the seawall. You can see it right here. Those, those sea walls and that shallow rock, that can be a good pattern sometimes. So definitely try it out, see if you have some success on it. Got another ramp that's right there too. Coming off that main point, now we're going to swing around. We'll come down here around this little island. You'll notice that we have some debris that's right in here. So first off, I guess you've got some rock that's right up in here. <clears throat> and then we've also got some additional rock that's right in here too. These can be great places to go out. Throw a wobble head, throw a crankbait, stuff like that, shaky heads. You've got some more debris that's right here. Almost looks like a rock wall that's going on right in this area. So all this stuff right here can be really, really good. And if we look at it when the water is up, like let's take it back to 2018, you won't see any of that stuff. So that's kind of hidden treasures that are out there. It's what we really like about doing these breakdowns. Let's go back back to uh, to that date and move it back down. We've also got some more laydowns there around the uh, the island. And then as we move up in here, there's not a lot going on in the bank line, but if you zoom in right here, there's a little bit of rock and stuff right there off that point. That'd be a great little staging spot for those fish to set up for before they go further back in there and spawn. So definitely take a look at that. Let me zoom back, kind of show you where I'm at. We went around that bend. Let's keep going and we'll go probably about 10 more minutes and then we'll cut it off. But let's keep moving on down here. We've got a pipe that's right here. 
So definitely look at that, some more debris as we move further on down the bank line, just some random areas of rock. So right here, some really good rock right here by this dock and right there as well. That just, that one looks really, really good. So definitely wanna go look at those and then move down here. We get off here off of McNair Park. Uh, we've got a couple things to look at here. We've got some rock that's out here. This one looks really interesting, almost like a little point. And then we've also got the uh, the regular boat ramp that's here, which of course that probably looks totally different now. Let's zoom that up. 2018, eh, doesn't look that much better, but at least it, you can tell there's a boat ramp there as opposed to, to right here. It doesn't look very good at all. All right, so let's keep moving over. We're gonna go around McNair Park off that point and when we get off here to the side, kind of zoom back out again, show you where I'm at. I'm almost even with that little spot we ended at last time. Um, but right there, we've got some debris that's right in here. So I'm going to zoom in. Here's a bunch of laydowns and debris you could fish. You've got another good rock pile right here off this point. Again, when that water's up, that's going to be a money spot right there. You've got some laydowns here as well. And then moving on down, just got some more boat ramps, a couple boat ramps there. And then a really good rocky spot right here off of this point. Almost looks like it could be an old roadbed too, possibly out here you could take a look at but look at all this really good rock just right there in that area it's gonna be really good spots to to go take a look at and then as we move over here we get off of this point a little bit of rock off this point not a ton not like the other one but definitely some scattered rock and you know the bass love that stuff so you go check that out more rock back in here as well just a little bit on the shoreline and then really nothing going on back in here didn't see anything at all but i didn't want you to check this out i don't know what this is uh, but it looks like a giant, let me move this out of the way. Looks like a giant lay down or something that's out there. I can't tell what it is, but go out there and just check it out and see if it's something worth fishing. It possibly could be. It looks like there might be, if you just look at the color here where it gets a little bit more brown, this could be like a high spot and maybe that's a, maybe that's a big lay down on top of a hump or something like that. <clears throat> no telling, but go check it out. Of course, you could also look at the offshore hotspots. That could be an offshore hotspot as well. And we'll talk about those when we get further into the videos and we, we go over into uh, to the mobile side. So let's keep moving on this one. We've got some more rocks that are right in here. Uh, so you can definitely look at that. I like how that point sets up. It's got that nice flat on top of it. You can even come out here and flish off these and you look at them and you're like, there, there's nothing there. It's just a bunch of mud. But sometimes they'll chase the shad up there and they'll get the shad kind of pushed up in there and they'll just go crazy on them. So these points, even though they have nothing on them, sometimes can be pretty good spots to go take a look at obviously i didn't mark anything for you there i don't see any shell i don't see any lay down i don't really see anything on it um, but be worth checking out every once in a while especially in the fall time all right so then moving down here we've got pretty good little river channel that comes through here there's a ramp back there and then there's some rock that's right up here so the channel swings this way right so any docks that are along this this little bank line here are going to be good docks to fish and then it swings on up and goes out this way. Now there is some rock that's right here and it looks like it's part of the kind of that channel swing that's right there. So right in here, that dock looks interesting. Almost looks like it could be a house that's on the lake or something like that, but there's some rock right by it. And I can see that being a really, really good spot to go take a look at. Moving up here, of course that river channel coming in, it's gonna create those rocky spots. And so anywhere you find that rock, you're gonna wanna fish those areas. So right in here is a good spot. We move on up. We've got a couple good little points right here to fish. Some really good rock out here off the main lake point. And this little dock's got a little nice little rock pile just right outside the edge of it. So right there, main lake point um, has a nice little rock pile. You know that's going to be good stuff. We're going to swing on around, keep moving down. We've got some more rock that's right in here. Look at this one because this one looks interesting. This is like a little rock wall that's outside of their their beach so i don't know maybe this is their beach and they've created this little rock wall that's there but just looks really interesting and if you move the water up like this is when the water's up the water's all the way up on the seawall that little rock wall is going to be right in here most people are not even going to know that it's there so really good spot to go look at as well and i like how that one again you know more main lake ish it's, it's just right out there here's the main river right here so the river swings there that could be a good spot to take a look at Moving down here, got some things I wanted you to check out. I don't know what this is, but it looks like some debris of some sort. Can't really tell, but go check it out. See if it's worth fishing around, might be. And then moving down here, of course, you've got this nice river channel here. So really, guys, anytime you're out here fishing, 
this lake, especially with the with the river there, the river kind of changes everything. So anytime you can find docks on those river channel swings, this is a river channel swing right here where you can see it turning. So it's going to swing and anywhere it swings and it touches, those are going to be high percentage areas to fish. So when we talked about this up in here, where that rock was, that's a high percentage area. When we talk about it swinging right here, right, the river channel swinging really hard right here, and that's why you have this rock that's here. These are high percentage areas to find fish for sure. So as we're talking about that, let's go ahead and let's just point these out. So we've got some rock that's right here. We've got some really cool looking stuff right here. I don't know if this is their own private island that they have or what, but this looks like a really good place to catch some fish. Also right in here off this point, real good rock pile here, real good stuff in here. I would spend some significant time uh, right in this area. This just looks like a really good area to be able to find some fish. Moving over here, some more rock in there. When you get off this point, there's some additional rock piles out here, just some isolated little rock piles. And I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is debris or if it's if it's even there, you know, when the water's up. When I pull the water up, you can't tell if it's there or not. But you may want to go check it out. I couldn't tell if that was just something that was there when the water was down, like an old truck or something. I can't even tell what it is. But maybe go look and see if it's still there. That could be interesting to fish around. And then over here, you know, I saw this on Lake Fork, uh, and typically when we see this on most of our lakes up in like the East Texas or North Texas, um, we they look like shell beds, and we go out and we, we figure out that, yes, they are shell beds. This has potential to be a shell bed, so maybe go look at it. It doesn't set up in a great spot for a shell bed, but it definitely could be. If it's not that, it's definitely rocks. So you definitely want to go fish it. But then moving in here, you've got a pretty decent little creek channel that's back here. You can go take a look at. Looks like you may have some some vegetation and stuff to fish around. You've also got a boat ramp that's back there too. And then as you move up here, there's some brush piles that are out here. So nice brush pile here by this dock, another brush pile by that dock. And then as we get over here by this point, kind of that rounded little point, I like how it's got all this rock that's right up against the seawall. And we talked about that on the last video, I think. But man, if you can find these seawalls that have the shallow rock that's all around it, there's times a year when you can get up there with a chatterbait or a square bill and you can just go to town, just stay in parallel with those seawalls and just bouncing off the rock and the seawall. It just it irritates the heck out of the bass and they will just fire on it like crazy. Looking here, you know, I didn't mark it, but this looks like you may have a little underwater point that's here. And again, we'll talk about this when we get to the offshore spots here in a couple more videos. As we move down into this pocket, Let's go ahead, go ahead and finish on down here. We'll do a few more and then we'll wrap up the video. But we get here into Deer Haven HOA Park. There's a little channel that comes back here. It's probably dug out um, from them actually, you know, putting the boat ramp in there. But you could go take that a look, take a look at that because it does make a pretty good little ditch. And if you look right there in that little loop, that could be a nice little spot to find them collected at. You've got some rock that's in here too. So right here off this little point. You know, notice there's not a lot of rock. There's a little bit of rock, but not too much going on here. A lot of mud, and then boom, you find the hard spot, which is right there. Another good staging spot for those fish. Moving over here to the other side of the point, you kind of get the same thing. you got all this mud and sand and junk like that, but you've got some really good hard spot right here off the edge of this point, pretty close to that seawall. And again, the water's up. You know, you're not going to know any of that stuff is there, so you definitely want to go look at that stuff. Anytime you can find that rock when it's covered and shallow like that, that's money, money, money. You've also got a really great point out here. So again, got main river channel, right? So anywhere this thing swings up against, this is getting pretty far outside the river channel. But anywhere you get on the outside edge of this, these are going to be higher percentage areas. And you've got a lot of rock that's right in this area. So you've got some there off that point that we just looked at. That one looks awesome. And then as you move over here, of course, I think we're too far off the river channel now to really get the good rock, uh, but there are some isolated rock piles over here. So you got a little bit of rock here. Looks like right there, something's collected right there as far as rock goes, and a couple more areas right in there. So really like fishing that point. I really like that one. That was probably my favorite one up here at the top, this one right here. Um, but these are nice little isolated rocky areas that you could probably catch some pretty good fish on. So let's go ahead and stop the video there. When I come back, we're going to start right here where it says rock. Let's go ahead and go ahead and change the properties of that. So I remember next time um, where we actually left off. So we left off right there. And what we'll do when we come back is we'll start there. We'll work our way down. We'll probably be able to finish this thing completely 
um, finish it down by the dam. So that'll finish us off with the Google Earth stuff. And then the video after that will be the offshore hotspots for this lake. So going out, looking at the contour maps of this lake and seeing what we can find out there as far as high percentage areas to find some fish. So I know I haven't mentioned it much on the yet during the uh, video, but please go out and check out our site, simplisticfishing.com. We have all these waypoints. You can take them, you can put them on a card, or actually we put them on a card for you. You put them into your graph and it will change the way you fish. You'll have the lake broke down right there on your graph for you. Go check it out, simplisticfishing.com. And until next time, guys, I hope you catch your PB. Take it easy.